Hello my people, welcome to my channel. Um, I am Cherish and today I am going to be doing a review slash mini demo um, about this e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. It is not a new product. I am just now jumping on the train. Um, I have pretty adamantly um, told my friends that I'm not gonna be using any e.l.f. products. Um, and you'll see why later in the video. So here they are. Here's the packaging. I am going to get right into the video. You guys are going to see how I apply this. Um, you guys are also going to um, see basically what my skin looked like before and what my skin looks like um, after. So you guys be the judge. Tell me in the comments below what you feel about the product. If you have this product, tell me how you feel about this product and tell me what you pair it with, such as setting powder, setting sprays, anything like that. I would love to hear from you. All right, let's get into it. Packaging wise, this came from e.l.f. I know that it's the camo conceal in here. I don't know what else is in here. It, that may be the only thing in here. I just can't remember. Um, but it's from e.l.f. Um, just regular box with their label and I'll go on it. This is it. It has three products inside. Um, I got the Elf Camo Conceal, and I got it in the shade 540. We'll see how it works. I did the shade finder on um, Elf.com, and duh, 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 duh. It gave me 540. I was a little skeptical because I felt like it may have been a little dark, but we'll see. Oh, I bought two. And I bought the shade 530. So that, yeah, I have two of those. And then I did purchase the No Budge Shadow Stick and Magnetic Pool. It's kind of like a champagne color. I guess I'll use that today and I'll just see how I like these products. And I have the color 530 W, so 530 Warm, and then 540 Neutral, so 540 N. So I'm gonna open both of those up really quickly um and we'll see it on the box it says skin loving ingredients collagen peptides and niacinamide broad spectrum spf 30 sunscreen i already put on spf but the fact that it has some in there that's great okay i am really excited to try this out i'm gonna start with pumping a pump of the 530 on my hands just so we can see what it looks like this is what it looks like in the bottle it looks like it may be a little dark but we'll see it's supposed to be warm tone the 530 is warm tone I would like to know how much product is actually in there. This is it on my hand. I'm gonna... It's so smooth and creamy. Like it's really smooth and creamy. It looks a little green tone. I'm just gonna leave that there. And then I'm gonna do a pump of the 540 neutral. And we'll see how that one looks. Alrighty. So that one came right out. This is what it looks like on my hand. This almost looks like it's... I don't know. It's giving olive green. That one is giving brown. They are truly two different shades. Hmm. 
I'm gonna try the 540. This is 540, this is 530. The 530 is gonna fit really well on that area of my skin, but the 540 is gonna fit really well up here, I feel like. It almost looks too dark here. I really have a hard time with foundations because my skin is so bright in the middle. And then around the edges, I get really warm around the edges. And I don't know. So we're gonna try the 540 just because they said that that's my shade. The 530, I feel like I can use in the summertime. I really don't even bring, typically bring a lot of products down this area anyway, because I save that for the contour products. So we'll see. I don't know. Like here, this is the untouched side. You can see the redness. You can see the blemishes. Here, and this is like one less than a full pump on this side. And there is like the coverage can't be denied like at all i'm gonna finish the rest off camera and i'll be back okay so i have just applied the cc cream all over my face um when i was applying it earlier i realized that i didn't have my ring light on and that may have skewed the way that i thought the coverage was on this side let me just say this about the coverage the coverage is great the coverage is great for it to be a CC cream. Let me blend my concealer out some more. For it to be a CC cream, this is covering like some foundations that I know of. Um, This is crazy. The coverage is crazy. Um, Let me talk about the texture. The texture was nice, smooth, and creamy. Y'all, just excuse me. While I um talk about this, I am gonna like finish the rest of my makeup. Um, the texture was nice, smooth, and creamy. Um, the, it, it, it was easy to blend. It was really fluid, um, which I really liked. Okay, here is the full rundown on what I think about the e.l.f. Um, Camo CC Creams. I really like these. I ended up going with the shade 540N. This was 530W. It's probably closer to my skin tone and what I would probably use traditionally. But yeah, I went with the 540N because that's what I was matched with on e.l.f. Um, I am going to try a look with the 530W one day, um, probably sometime this weekend. Um, so be on the lookout for a video for that. So final thoughts on what I think about this um, e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I love it. Um, I would actually add this to my everyday um, makeup for, like I said, when I go to work. Um, it was easy to blend. Uh, the pump made it super convenient. Pump, go. 
I would use probably one and a half to two pumps for my whole face. I will probably use it with the sponge next time. Um, but my favorite sponges are packed up in my to-go bag, so I didn't get to use them this time. Um, affordable for CC Cream, they were $15. I got them half off, so I got two for one. Two for the price of one. Um, I think that they have a good bit of product in them. I don't know how many ounces is in, in, is in each, but, um... I think that they have a good bit of product in them. It says apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. I it, Right now, it is probably noon or almost noon. So I am going to see how I like it in two hours. I am definitely going to be wearing this to work. I'm going to see how it does under my mask um, with some setting spray. In fact, let me actually put some of Elf setting spray on. I put it on the brush. This is the Micro All Night um, Setting Mist. It's the green one. I usually use the blue one, but it's packed up in my bag, so. Mm hmm mm hmm mm hmm Ooh, it smells good. It smells like a spa. I didn't even realize the smell at first. This really smells good, and this is not even what this video is about. Um, also, let me do swatch this, um, no bud shadow stick in the magnetic pool. I did get this as well. This is how it looks. It's like a champagne, kind of taupe champagne color. Very minimal shimmer. It's not actually shimmer. It's kind of satiny, if that makes sense. So, yeah. Um, you can't see because I do have my lashes, but I did put just a tiny bit of it on my lids um, with this look. So I am going to see how this wears. I may not come back with an update on how this wears because I do have a full long day ahead of me. But um, go out and get this CC cream. You won't regret it. This is this could really replace some of my actual foundations, like full coverage foundations, or not full coverage foundations, but like medium coverage foundations. This is some good stuff. Everybody has been raving about it. It is not a new product. I'm just late to the train. I'm late to the party. So get this CC cream. I really love it. Um, I will buy this again when I run out. So, you know, there's that. So thank you guys for watching. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoy the video.